Hello, we are here at ARC Industry Forum 2017 in Orlando, Florida. I'm delighted to have Jorgen Brandis, CEO of Siemens Process Industries and Drives Division. Welcome, Jorgen. Thank you. Uh, Jorgen, we had a, a great discussion this morning uh, earlier, uh, and ExxonMobil presented their vision of open and secure automation. What's your view of their vision? I'm very much happy that ExxonMobil took the lead for all of the end users to define the standards of future process automation. Uh, but indeed, it is necessary that the community of end users will expand. And it will help that we now will combine different suppliers for the same uh, concept. And this helps to get to open interfaces, to a more collaborative approach. And also, we will be able to apply new technologies in this new world of process automation. Yeah. Uh, open automation, but also we heard a lot about uh, cybersecurity this morning. You know, automation uh, systems have to be very secure. You know, what's your view of how are you trying to make your automation systems more secure for your customers? We believe with many installations and also an experience uh, in back in our history, we can help our customers first of all to do an assessment because it's necessary to find the, high, uh, the right hierarchy. For example, alarm systems can be moved up into the upper part of the uh, automation pyramid. Others should stay uh, closer when it comes to security, when it comes to secure processes. Then I see IT security more as a dynamic process, meaning you need always update it to the latest um, um, in, um, um, accidents, and you need also to share information among the community with Homeland Security, but also with the European uh, shared uh, institutions, and we have this connection. So we see ourselves as a partner to uh, handle this difficult challenge. Um, you know, we talked about going digital is so important for industrial companies and Siemens is taking lead in this space and you have uh, many initiatives uh, to help companies go digital. Could you talk about some of those initiatives? Yeah, but first of all, I have to admit our end user base is already using digitalization a lot. The chemical industry would not even work without data since uh, decades. What we believe is we can provide, first of all, communication backbones. We provide uh, IT security, but also we can provide a platform that is interoperable. It's an, uh, we call it operation system for uh, the IoT, and we call it MindSphere. And this is a platform where other companies also can uh, work on applications. So we form communities, ecosystems, that it's not depending only on one supplier. Yeah. We also talked about you know, IT, OT integration. And then this uh, morning, we talked about how you got to integrate your engineering technology as well. And clearly, Siemens is one of the leaders and engineering technologies, you know, how, how is the uh, IT, OT, ET integration, uh, how, how are you helping your customers uh, do all of that? Yeah. I firmly believe that it's not enough that we just know what uh, kind of values are within the data. You also should come to a, a perspective uh, um, understanding what is really going on in the factory. And in order to do so, even in brownfields, you need to build up a model, a digital model, what's really going on, so you can match the real data with your digital model. You can simulate, you can uh, drive uh, new ways of operating the plant, and therefore we believe it is important to get from a digital engineering then into digital operations. Yeah. We also talked a little bit about uh, 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 how Siemens is going digital internally. 
you know, maybe you could actually make some comments about that. Uh, could be uh, very helpful to your customers. Yeah, I tell you, digitalization has to start from the top because it is important that the entire organization starts to, in a new way, thinking. But it's also necessary to remind ourselves we need to be innovative. And uh, for example, this leads to a new way of creating ideas. For example, we have um, uh, just completed a hackathon where we ask people to come in with new ideas, new ideas for our customers, but also new ideas how we are improving our processes internally. Yeah, You know, digital enterprise companies really have to start changing their culture. They have to start training their uh, employees so that they can actually manage this digital enterprise. Uh, could you comment on what sort of skills or what you are doing to train your own people and plus your, how are you helping your customers? Yeah, indeed, uh, I believe we need now to combine different skill set. We have uh, younger people who are digital natives, so to speak. On the other hand, we have people with great know-how gained it over 30 years. And we, as an organization now, to bring both groups together to create something. This is then a unit value proposition, which redefine the purpose of a company. We do it internally. But we also believe we can build up a platform that also our customers can benefit from these uh, uh, changes. You know, going digital is certainly very important for companies, but uh, you know, industrial companies, they're going to need a lot of help working with the partners. And could you perhaps comment on how is Siemens trying to work with, with, with your partners to hopefully you know, bring complete solutions to your customers? First of all, we do not believe in a monolithic system. What we are uh, providing is, uh, first of all, certain platforms, but not believe that we just, as one company, can have the right answer for all the questions. So we are analyzing with our customers the situation, doing, for example, a maturity check, which is a status, then discuss with the customer where we share knowledge, where we put new ideas into the uh, game, but also what kind of additional partner we might invite to create the new value proposition. A good example, we are working closely with Bentley Systems. We are just, for example, combining our strengths on process automation, uh, process simulation, with their understanding of asset management, and those, for example, is a great idea how we can improve brownfield uh, installations of our process industries. You know, going forward, uh, it's uh, going to be so important for companies to be more innovative, you know, hopefully uh, develop new business models to create new revenue streams. Could you comment on, you know, how is Siemens uh, encouraging more innovation internally and how you are perhaps working with your customers to help them uh, uh, perhaps, uh, you know, could you become more innovative? First of all, it has to do with culture. You need to be uh, not driven the business from the top because there are many people within your company who have great ideas. So you need to motivate them to come up with these ideas, changing uh, uh, business models. And this sometimes also starts with yourself. You need to reflect yourself whether you are on the right path or not. So it is important that you get an atmosphere within your company without fear, but with an really an understanding what innovation means and sharing risks. It's also important that the people see a bright future, that they want to get into new fields of uh, innovation rather than believe there is a risk and we better stay where we are. Uh, Jürgen, these are excellent comments, and I really want to thank you for coming and joining us here at the ARC Industry Forum. And I, I think your customers uh, are very appreciative of you making commitment to open and secure systems. Uh, we have been speaking with uh, Jürgen uh, Brandes, CEO of Siemens Process Industries and Drives Division. Thank you for watching.